Going is Class Gate Styles here, also known as Bianca, and today is the beauty products I hate and I just forgot one. Alright, so now back from my long journey, like literally right there, a second away, I got my other product that I was going to show. So I don't have like a lot of like makeup items or whatever that I have here. Um, but I decided to make this video anyways because I thought it was going to be fun, interesting, and whatnot. Like, right now it's like like this tea gel or whatever. Um, somebody recommended recommended this to me for a while. I think it was my dermatologist or something. And I tried um, Salsa and Blue or whatever to, you know, stop my hair from itching or whatever because my hair is very sensitive to products. Well, not my hair, but my skin, my scalp and, and everything. And I can't put oils in it or anything or it'll re react badly and my scalp will itch and it won't stop. And if I itch it, it will just itch. So yeah, I hate this, and also my sister uses this, yeah, I know it's a full bottle, but, uh, well, it's halfway used, but my sister has like a big old, bo a big old bottle, a bigger bottle of this, which is almost empty, so this was used to help her to stop with itching, but I don't know how that's gone, but this stinks, it's like the worst, I mean, it's not like that bad, but it, it, to me, it just smells like cigarettes, and so yeah. Um, but it's not as powerful or strong, but it just stays in your hair. And this also changes the texture of your hair too. It's like a 50-50 this for a shampoo and then mix it with another shampoo that we use, well that she uses. So the next hair item that I have here is <laughs> um, something that I needed to use a long time ago when I did my own hair, which I'm getting back into, but I love this stuff and my mom got it because we need an oil for our hair, and it's Africa's Best Unlimited Herbal Oil, which looks like this. Um, now, I don't think this is the same one that I had because another one had like a person on it, but yeah, I don't. It, the bottle is just disgusting. I don't know why. It, the bottle just has a tendency to get all icky. I don't. I never touch this bottle when I have oil in it. It's just really dry, thirsty hair skin. The hair, bath, and body. I've never used it on my on my body or for bath because I mean it's really really oily and nobody likes to be oily, okay? And as I'm talking, I actually got a spot on my jeans for touching this oil. If you can see like these two spots so right here, like I, I and it's not even open, okay? It's not open at all. It's like great oil for straightening your straightening your hair, and that's about it. The next item. It's like a shower gel, it's really a shaving gel. It's smooth and uh, moisturized. It's like um, this, I don't know, it's Dr. Broner's Magic Organic Shaving Gel, smooth, moist, whatever. It's just lavender and um, my grandmother gave it to me for the beach. I didn't use it um, because I didn't need to. It's like fresh legs, you know, but whatever. Um, so yeah, the only reason why I hate this is that it's, I never, nobody ever opened it or anything. And I hate it, and I not, I can't, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'll just use this piece of paper on my um, little sticky note that I have here. But I hate it, and it just leaves the top all dirty, so um, I don't like it because it's really watery. And the gel is like a caramel color, caramel, caramel. And sometimes it could be like a dark color, and like when you rub it on and everything. But it, it's it's almost like honey, so it's it, it looks like this, okay? And it's dripping. So when you use this, it's like putting on honey honey in your legs, or like a I don't know. I, I've never used wax before, like to wax my legs or whatever. Do that because that's never gonna happen. But it's almost like that, and it dries so quickly, so you have to work really fast. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, I almost dropped it on my pants and then throw it away before I do because I already had one incident, okay? Don't like this, you know, you put it on, yeah, it smells good and it does wonders, but you have to work quickly and yeah, most likely take a shower when you when you use this and like use it in the shower and keep, keep it wet or you're gonna have like, ugh. 
Ugh. Terrible. Terrible thing. So, now the one makeup item I have is actually something, I don't remember, uh, I guess it's called Black Radiance. I'm not sure. I don't remember the uh, brand because I took it off. But it's um, number 8027 Posh Plump Plums. And it's this. It has like all the purple, pinky, black colors. But the blacks are down here so you guys can't see it. They have a shimmer side and then they have a matte side. Um, and I hate the brush that they give you with it. I'm not going to take it out because if I open this, my face will be covered in sparkles and dust. So this is eyeshadow and it has like the step by step things. This is my first makeup thing that I ever bought but I don't like it because I don't like the brush and it's a double ended brush but the thing comes off of it and it's annoying. And it's annoying to clean and also because purple and pinks don't look good on my skin. Right now I'm like I guess you could say like 95% tan so on you know, my tan self and on my regular normal non-tan self, I just hate pink on me. And I also, my mom gave me this one lipstick that I can't find that's pink and I haven't tried it on because I lost it. Just like when I took matches from the uh, restaurant, they had t uh, matches, free matches for people on the table and I took it and I lost it. Because I wanted to light sticks on fire to make like a spear or whatever. And, and yeah, so I don't like this because just the colors are nice and everything. The brush is terrible, but the colors do not look good on me. So it's just, just sitting in a closet. So the next item I have is actually, well, I've, I actually have one item that I'm gonna say. Oh, it's right here. All right, so never mind. Okay, so the next two items are like um, eyeliner. And this is my first eyeliner that I bought. And it's Maybelline New York Eye Studio, but it's like uh, the gel right here and it doesn't smell like anything, but yeah, and I also forgot another product that I have to go back and get, but, um, I, the only thing I don't like about this product is the brush, oh, I'm showing this, the brush, um, because the brush loses its shape when you're trying to, like, put it on, and I do use this occasionally when I feel like being bothered enough to, to, um, you know, use it, but the brush is just like, meh, and it's hard to cl clean too, but, you know, whatever, it's, mm. So the next one is, what is this called? Uh, it's Ulta Brand. It's Ulta Brand Automatic Eyeliner in the shade Black. I think they have black, brown, and blue. I would have got blue, but if I got blue, I would have probably got in trouble. This is the Ulta Brand. The only thing I don't like about this is like, the application is difficult and I will try a liquid liner next, but I will use this up um, to see, still see I have like a lot in it. I'm not going to roll it all the way up or I will have a big old mess. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about, about this. It's just that it's hard to apply and I'm just like a noob at this makeup stuff. Alright, so my last makeup thing is this. I know it's... Okay, yeah, okay. Mm. Good thing it wasn't open. I guess this is in like a uh, red container. I don't know why it wasn't used, but it was in a red container at Target. So it's called New Vivid. It's from uh, Maybelline On Fire Red, number 895. So yeah, um, the only thing I don't like about this lipstick, I mean, hate the smell. At first it said it smelled good, but over time the smell, ugh. Lipstick is kind of weird, like it's kind of rusty on some sides, but um, I don't wear it that much because I end up licking it off. But yeah, that, there's the color for you guys. And I, I, I'm looking in my uh, screen here so I can see what I'm doing. And yeah, so I just wanted to put uh, it on so you guys could see what it looks like. Even I can't even see online. And I know you're supposed to get like a little um, napkin, but ain't no got it. Uh, ain't no gotty. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, I like the color, um, but I wanted like a lighter color or whatever and things like that. So I don't know. I just think it look weird with the darker color on. You no, know, makes my lips dry, which I don't like. And I ended up licking it off, and it tastes how it smells. And it's just like a catastrophe, so that's why I don't like this. Um, I don't know if it's because it's 
it's in a sweat container and it's not an original container and everything like that. Maybe it's old, I don't know, but mm, never again will I buy something like that from Target again. The next items are like, uh, some of these items I, I, I don't care, I like the color, but I just, mm, they're nail polish items. So, um, this first one I have here is Wet n Wild and it's Mega Last Salon Nail Color and it's this color and it's um, number uh, 205B Sugar Coat and, oh, mama, yeah, it's like this, if it'll focus on, focus on, don't focus on me, okay, well, whatever, it's like, um, so it's like really pink color. It looks lighter in the video, um, but it's actually a little bit more pink. Nail polish doesn't have like a little roller ball in it or something, or it's just like doomed. And you know, it has a pro brush on it and I have to put like 6,000 coats on or it'll just like smudge on, smear on and ugh. Like I, I just, you know, just hate it. But as long as it's not like stringy, because sometimes nail polish gets really stringy and I don't like that and it looks kind of dried up in, in here and it's like molasses coming out and all that so yeah it's just weird. The next one I have is well hard as nails extreme extreme wear by Sally Hansen uh, Hansen not San what Sally Hansen and yeah I have um, orange and blue. I got the orange and the blue at the same time at Target. Again, Target. And, um, the red, not the red one. Why am I? Oh my god. The orange one goes on a lot better than the blue one. Even though it has, like, some streaks in it and everything. And, again, this, the color that you see at the bottom is not the real actual color. It's more, it's kind of like the video right here, but it's, like, darker if you can see it in, like, the shade. Like right here in this, but it's not so dark. If I had it on my fingernails right now, I would show you, but my fingernails are painted and they're terrible. So yeah, but the blue one, you know, I, oh my god, I can't even get it open. I love the blue, but it goes on, and it's also beginning to get stringy, like it's stringy, like, um, I don't know, when I got it and I put it on for the first time, it, it just, it took me... It's too many coats to put on, and it'll end up being globby. And I, yeah, I do wait like um, 12, like not even 12 hours. Like um, sometimes I wait a whole day to use it. I mean to add another coat on, but then it doesn't work, and it just looks like a big old glob. So I prefer the orange one. I don't know why the orange one is better, but you know, it's just weird. So this, the Revlon one. This is not a. I don't hate this product because it's on my fingernails. Um, but it only takes me two coats to apply this, and it's in the color Sassy, number um, 510. And I like it because it goes on easy and it's not stringy. It's just very liquidy, not not too liquidy, but it's good enough to where it stays on. It's really easy to apply, so I thought I would just mention that really quick because I like that one. And also um, from the Wet n Wild, I have Sinful Colors Professional, and I don't know what color. I don't know what color this is, but it's like the same color pink. Um, it is a l bit lighter, as you guys can see, and this one also works better than, than um, the Wet n Wild. So I would recommend the Sinful Colors one if you're going for this, because it's not... I mean, I haven't put it on in a while, but I know it, it's a lot better than the uh, other one that I showed you. And it's like liquidy too, like um, the Revlon one, so that's good. I don't know why I'm putting those in there, but yeah. Also, I have the Sinful Colors uh, top coat, but um, of course, you know, stupid old me, I had like two top coats and I didn't like the bottle that was in, so I poured two in there and now it's just, the poor Sinful Colors top coat is destroyed by, I don't know, so I was just gonna say that. I don't remember what the brand was that I had it, but my mom gave it to me. And also, I have Stella Hansen Hard, as Nails Extreme Wear. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I think I got this at like a food store or something. And I wanted it because, oh no wait, it's, I got this at Walmart, yeah. And it's like clear, but it has black and white. So yeah, I like this and I haven't put it on in a while. Um, let me see if I can put some on here for you guys and I will see if I still like it. 
Yeah, it's still good. So, yeah, um, it's black and white. I know you guys can't see that, that's that very little bit because my camera won't focus on my stuff. Um, my nails are and other things. But, yeah, I like this. Um, so, there's one good thing out of this, these, uh, Sally Hansen products. And I think because I got it at Walmart, and Walmart probably has new stocks anyways, better than Target, even though Target has a better op um, selection. So the next, I have Funky Fingers, and my mom gave this to me, and it's like in the color orange, like color purple, you know? Um, it's in this color orange, then, uh, then I have um, it in this pink, and then I have it in this fuchsia color, and then I have dark purple or purple, and yes. I have these four colors, my mom gave them to me, and I love these colors. Now, if you mix, I forgot what I did, but in in the bottle here, when I poured in like the other top coat on it, it made this, I poured it into the bottle, and it made this really matte, and I'm telling you, when this is matte, like a plain matte color and not shiny, it is gorgeous. Um, I haven't put it on in a while, and some of them I don't like because, um, like the orange one, the orange one was great, but as with the other one, I put it on and it's just like a clump and it gets stringy and it's not as liquidy as it was before, and I just hate stringy nail polish and things like that, so I don't like, I don't like it, the pink, I haven't put on the pink either, but I guess I will later. But as long as it's not stringy and everything, like it's kind of liquidy. It's not 100% liquidy, but it's almost gone, and I guess I'm fine with that. And then I think I have to open this one. The fuchsia one, I like the fuchsia, but I think I prefer... See, this one looks like a bit stringy, like it looks like there's nothing left in here. Oh well. Um, I guess it'll just go in the garbage. And there's like nail polish, dot on this, and my pants are destroyed. Like, I have nail polish shavings all over. I don't think I- did I open this purple one already? <laughs> yeah, the purple one is liquidy. Um, so, now the next nail polish that I have is Sally Hansen again, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear, and it's the black color. This died very, very, very quick. Like, I used it, and now it's just stringy and disgusting, and it's not even a nail polish anymore, it's like- it's like honey that you can't get rid of, but yeah, I liked it at first because it's my first black nail polish I was ever allowed to buy, and I hate it, so. And so the next one I have, Wet n' Wild again, and it's in, uh, what color is this in? Uh, Through the Grapevine, number 208B. So I haven't used this one in a while, but I think this is... I think this is like my replacement purple. It's, the, it's not that watery, and I guess that's the thing. But I think it's my replacement purple for this one, even though this one's more fuchsia, and this one is like, I guess, grapevine color. I'm like almost like a um, medicine, like, like a matte medicine for children and whatnot. So yeah, I do like this one, but I haven't put on in a while. So like the next ones I have is called Art, Art Club, and it's nail art. Uh, liqueur, I don't know, uh, color club, yeah, color club, and I have, this one is like for, um, nail designs, and it is easy, but it's hard, because sometimes it can leave it clumpy, and it doesn't dry as fast, so yeah, this one is not as liquidy, but I guess that's a good thing, and, um, it just goes on, uh, chunky a little bit, and I have it in, like, the black, and I have the red like I just showed you guys. And then I have it in like this neon yellow, kind of like a um, fluorescent, maybe fluorescent is good. And then blue, then in the dark blue, it's kind of glittery, which will be perfect for galaxy nails. And then I have white. Um, I don't use the white one that much. I used to, when I used, I used to use, um, this orange, white, and then black, and used to make like a skunk design. You know, like a skunk, a skunk stripe. I just thought I would add this in since I do have it already. And this is like a green, but it's this sparkly green, and it's really, really nice. I love this. 
Um, I was going to use it the other day, but my blue nails failed. I have Sinful Colors again in this silver. I bought this when... I can't remember what else I bought when, when I got this, but I wanted a white. And this looked white in the beginning, but as time went on, it looked to be more silver. I don't really care about silver too much, but this is a great um, nail polish. And it doesn't take much to like get that color. Like I only need two coats and that's it. And also I have this thing that I got from Avon. I don't know how many wear. But it's glaze. It's, it's glaze wear. Vita Licious. Lip gloss. Gloss. You know something. It says Avon on it. Um, but I got this from my neighbors. Because my neighbors were doing something. And so yeah. It's like in a purple color. Like this. But the color doesn't show up. That, it doesn't show up on me. Um, it just makes my lips glossy and everything. And I just randomly through it. So the next item I have is um, mascara. I wish I could tell what name it was, but the name is like fading away and that's like meh. Um, I like this mascara, but the only thing I don't like about it, and I guess it might be old or something. I haven't had it that long. Maybe I have, and <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not, but I, I don't know, but I don't like it. Um, I, mean, I like it. I like the brush and everything. I just don't like the tip of the brush. And sometimes I like try to scrape that off and, and everything like that. But when I put the mascara on, it irritates my eyes and my eyelids. And I guess my eyes are sensitive to this. So it's not really good for me to use this a whole lot. And I don't use mascara this mascara a lot. It's the only mascara I have, but it's what I decided to use. And I'm about to call. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Um, so yeah, but... I don't use it much. I, I do it when I have time and I have like two hours and I'm just, just throw it on or everything like this and I have on makeup. I just love lipstick. I just realized that. How could I not remember that I just put it on? I guess I'm just crazy. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will. My hands are all the way down here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave a comment and a like down below and subscribe if you did like this video and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye we see you we see you from miles we see you we see you